Welcome back to the Gadget Dad channel doing uh, one of my favorite gadgets that I've been using for a really long time which is uh, Bluetooth headsets uh, to take you way back when I was in, in high school before the iPod existed. I used to actually uh, take, I found uh, probably the only ex existing pair of kind of around the head headset uh, with ear things um, and it had a cord that came down right here and I would duct tape it or tape it with electrical tape out down the back and I found a player, I think it was like an 8 megabyte player um, that would hold about 6 to 10 songs depending on if you use MP4, I think this is even before MP3 came out this is back in Napster days and I used to actually work out with it and I would attach um, that little device, it was about, about this big um, to the small of my back and man all my friends especially in track and other sports were pretty jealous because that was back in the day where you had the Casio tape uh, there were actually DVD players that were mobile that had special springs and stuff in it where you could almost exercise with the CD playing in it that's the time and era so boy have we come a long way to be able to exercise with music or reading listening to a book way before audiobooks existed for sure so um, that's some of my history so I, I got a set of this and how this came out around is um, someone had asked me hey what what do you recommend for exercise headsets I hadn't really used them for a very long time um, I've been in CrossFit for three or four years and most of the time you have loud music in, inside the CrossFit box um, and you're not working out with headphones like this um, since then I've taken quite a bit of a break with the new twins at home as well as um, some injuries so I'm getting back to the gym and getting some music and headsets definitely helps uh, motivate and pump things up I've also in the past had Bluetooth headsets the LG tone I had that cost about 50 bucks it's more of like around the office around the house type of headset kind of for music for listening to um, audio books or making phone calls um, it's pretty bulky around the neck if you don't mind looking like a, a little bit of a nerd which I definitely don't face it I'm, I'm just that guy uh, I wore it around the office and it was great because I could take phone calls hop in and out of meetings um, I looked a little stupid I'm sure for some people but it didn't bother me I love those things um, they actually ended up breaking um, so I thought maybe that this could be both um, so I've, ha I've dabbled in that as well as a ton of exercise with different kind of headsets so I want to review these um, and some of my expectations and where where they were met and where they where they weren't met. So this is um, the the Plantronics Backbeat Fit wireless headphones, and this is the special edition. Uh, first off, so um, please know that, that this is the black special edition. I didn't understand the difference between the editions. I thought maybe they were just charging an extra ten dollars for the black version. Um, because it looked cooler, but uh, there is actual difference that I'm going to talk to you about. This is a really, this is a value buy, and I think most of the blogs that I read before I bought this did kind of market as a value buy at about 82 bucks for the special edition and 79 bucks for the regular. Um, and, I'll, and I'll make some recommendations on which one, and that's on that's uh, prices quoted from Amazon. Some other ones I looked at, I looked at the Bose Sound Sport. Uh, it's about 100 bucks more, 149 bucks for the Bose Sound Sport. Sorry, about, about, about 60, 70 bucks more. Um, as well as the Jaybird XZ. There are obviously Beats uh, is playing in this market, kind of a fitness. And then there's some other brands that um, I haven't really had experience or seen a whole lot of. I, I like to stick to some of the more mature known brands like Plantronics, Bose, um, Jaybird. Uh, and, and Beats obviously owned by Apple. So some things I didn't understand. First off, incredible battery life. I thought I'd be charging these every other day. Um, I've had these for about two full months now. I've used them quite a bit at the gym. I'd say it's got a, a full six to eight hours of battery life, no lie. Uh, when I do like, really love that when you turn them on um, and the on button is, is very discreet, it's just a little nub right here and you hold it down on your right ear and it the blue light comes on. When you turn it on uh, and have it in your ear, it tells you how much battery life you have left. I haven't seen that in devices before. I love that so you know kind of how much range you got left on it when it gets down to an hour or so you recharge it. The recharger is, let me find the booger. Um, it's kind of a little tray that <laughs> of, slips out. I always have to like look around the things to find it. Everything's so small on these, here it is. 
It's again on that right ear. You kind of got to get your fingernail in it and pull it out. Um, and then you got a little USB device uh, to put it to put in there, USB. So that's on the right ear as well. Really slim. Um, it's not going to catch on anything for sure. So that's one thing that I'll tell you is that battery life is incredible. You're not going to be charging these every other day, even if you're working out for a few hours a day. Um, they, my, I wouldn't say my ears are sensitive uh, at all, but they did hurt for, I'd say, the first few days I wore them. And when I said I was wearing them for maybe 30, 45 minutes a day, just for a normal workout, um, taking a run or just working out in the gym. And I thought, man, these things are um, going to be one of those that just hurt your ear. I love the around the ear design. I feel like it just keeps it way more secure to your head, especially if you're doing more aggressive workouts, cross training type of stuff. I feel like it just adds a lot of security um, to your head. That you're not feeling like it's going to fall out, whether it is or not. Sometimes with those other just in the ear buds, uh, they feel like they're going to fall out to me. And then I find myself pushing them back in constantly. Um, so it fits real nice. And after probably the first three, the first week, uh, five, six wearings, they did break in. Um, I don't think my ears got used to them. I think they actually broke in. I also discovered that these uh, earbuds rotate about 20 degrees in either direction, which helps with the fit. Um, it's really soft rubber and the, the actual earbuds underneath it. So I think they do kind of soften and mold your ear a little bit and break in. This back piece just holds it against the kind of the outer lobe of your ear. Um, so they have really good fit. Um, the battery is great. There's a lot of, there's only a few buttons, so it takes some practice. I think they're smart to reuse some of the buttons. Um, obviously the on button, that little nub here, you can answer phone calls um, by this. And I didn't expect that. I didn't do a ton of research uh, on that stuff. I didn't expect the phone calls to work very well at all. Obviously, there's no kind of mic um, piece like you see in other Bluetooth he headset devices where there's a little microphone, Britney Spears microphone sticking out. But I tested those a good deal um, talking to Gadget Mom um, from across the house, uh, from windy areas. They worked exceptional. I was very surprised that I could receive a phone call um, or hear a phone call with these at all to be honest. So pleasantly surprised there. Um, they're breaking good. Uh, some of the other buttons, the play button, you know, obviously most of the time you just want to pause something. If you need to um, handle a kid or, or um, listen to Gadget Mom, which we often need to shut down the headset um, and listen up, you press the, play, the pause button. Now there's other sequences like you can double tap it and it'll move forward. You can hold it down. So there's kind of this Morse code thing you need to do if you want to use some of the forwarding and, and reversing to move forward a song or move back a song. There's another little nub on this left side which does the music volume. So pressing it once puts the music up. Um, holding it down will bring the volume down. So you kind of have to learn that. Typically with devices like this, I can just click buttons um, and in different sequences, press two buttons at once and kind of figure it out on my own. Um, but I couldn't here. I actually had to read the guide. Unfortunately, I don't know why, but um, for my version, it came in a different language. So I couldn't really read it. I had to just kind of look at the pictures and get a guess. But even in another language, I couldn't or read and understand that clicking it twice would make the volume go down. And I was like, surely they didn't make something where you could only push the volume up. Um, and most of the time I was just adjusting it on my actual uh, phone. So I, I looked the instructions up online. I don't know why I got a um, French set of uh, earbuds, but um, nonetheless, another uh, neat thing is it, it does come with a armband attachment, uh, which is really neat uh, that it comes with there. It's a picture of it here. You can flip it, which is just a case. Here's the case and you can flip it inside out and it becomes an actual armband. So kudos to them for coming up with a pretty uh, neat case to hold um, your phone and the earbuds in as well as being able to flip it up inside down. I don't love running with something like that around my arm. I've just never gotten used to it. It feels kind of icky to me. Um, I'm dying for them to come out for an iP iPod shuffle with Bluetooth. So you can just clip something on your waist and have music and you don't have to bring your phone with you at all. Heck, maybe they came out with that, I just don't know. Please comment if they did, but I'm dying for that to happen.
Okay, I could not help but stop and check out, check out the Apple website for that um, iPod Shuffle Bluetooth version. Um, still does not exist. Uh, please get on it, Apple. That's the ultimate dream for, I know a lot of people that are working out and love to listen to music is um, something small they can clip on, uh, yet still listen to music, especially with all these Bluetooth devices and headsets that are out. Uh, nobody wants to plug into that stuff anymore. Um, so I think those those shuffles are going to start to become obsolete until we add Bluetooth to them. We can use our Bluetooth headsets with them. So uh, as I mentioned, the different uh, versions, the special edition, um, this one, the special edition is the limp version, as Gog uh, Gadget Mom will say. It, it's just flexible uh, is really the key to it. Um, there's pros and cons to that. The pro is that you can just bundle it up and shove it to a bag very easily. fits very compact. Um, it it get, takes a little getting used to if you're more used to the firm, um, hard line headset. You can kind of see what I thought it would look and feel like here. Um, the normal versions, which are the $79 version there, the yellow, red, and blue versions. There's no black um, non-special edition, which means flexible version. There's actually no version that looks and acts like this uh, that's black, the $82 version, which is what this is. The um, con to this version is that it doesn't sit around your neck, so if you're working out, and this was my issue and scenario, was I was working out, took the headsets out after I was done, um, and put a towel over my shoulder, took the towel off, threw it in the laundry bin, and all of a sudden um, this thing's dangling off my back, uh, hanging over one shoulder. They're not very long, um, and they're very light, which is a great thing but it's something that you could, I could definitely see falling off if you're not paying attention. I think the hard version, the firm version, you could put them down around your neck, um, pop them in and out if you have to, you know, you're talking or walking or jogging or running with somebody and you would not lose them um, because of that. So something to keep in mind when you're buying this, whether you want something that's gonna fit and be compact in your bag or something that you're gonna hang around your neck um, and kind of run with a group of people, you're putting them in and out this is not going to stay around your neck or on your shoulders very well you're probably going to bounce off or fall off uh, and you won't you won't feel it or, or know it because they're very light you won't even feel them around your neck something to keep in mind as you're uh, kind of making that decision something i didn't expect um, as i was getting them so again i think they're an incredible option um, i'm excited to try the bows they're you know a, a significantly more expensive um, nearly double, a little less than double, about 40%, 50% more expensive, $149, the Bose Sound Sport. I think there's an even upper end model to that on the Bose side, which does like pulse, evidently it gets um, your pulse or heart rate from um, the earbud piece, as well as the Jaybird for 141s. All, all three of those seem like kind of the top picks for sport headphones, and this one leads the charge with general value that you get. Those other versions are um, just the string version where there's a wire and an earbud that goes in. There's nothing that goes kind of around your ear. They will have some sort of piece like this that tries to apply pressure to the other end of your ear lobe um, to keep help it keep in, in place. But I, I really like something more secure um, like these. I love these. I'll tell you what, the, the sound quality on these, um, don't get your hopes really high. Uh, I'm not blaring music, but at the same time, I felt like they could definitely use more volume, and that may be why their battery life is, is so incredible, is that they don't really have beefy speakers in here, and um, the volume does not get really high. So if you're someone that loves to, to blare that Metallica or um, Gadget Mom, what's your favorite uh, workout song? Um, that Burn song. The Burn song. You do, your, you do your cycling with it too. Mm -hmm. If you really want to drown out the, the noise and pain of working out um, with some thumping beats, this is not the set for you. They're going to do a decent job. You're going to hear the music, but um, it's not going to blow you away. I would definitely, if that's really important to you, I'd take a look at um, the Bose or Jaybird or, or even the Beats, notorious for um, some of the lower frequencies. Um, and kind of play into that market. So that's my synopsis, good enough for me. I didn't want to spend a fortune on this. I'm glad I didn't, especially since I'm probably gonna end up with a second set for kind of around the town wear. 
Uh, I told you I normally wore this LG tone for kind of around the town, answering phone calls, listening to audiobooks as I'm doing errands, hitting the grocery store. Um, I, I love to watch YouTube videos and listen and learn from other people uh, with those as I'm doing those errands. And they're so much easier to just slip in and out of your ear um, as you're wearing them. I'm that guy. I'll wear them anywhere. I don't care if I look like a nerd. Um, deal with it. So that's something that I know that I'm going to have to buy too. They're about 50 bucks. So, um, you know, I'll have two pairs, one more around the town, um, doing hobbies, uh, you know, working in the yard, something like that, where this, where this is just going to be a, a fitness pair. Um, I don't, I don't need to be listening to Metallic on a stereo blast, uh, to do a workout. Um, I'm, I'm an older dad, so, uh, I don't need that. But if that's important to you, I would definitely look at those other sets. Hopefully this review is helpful, um, and kind of pulled out some of the expectations I had. I would, I would recommend these. I'm going to keep them. They're not going back to the, sh back to Amazon at all. I'll include the links to all of the products I talked about. Love for you to click them through the, um, YouTube channel. Obviously I get credit for anything purchased through there. It helps support the the channel as I grow it. Please subscribe and like the video if this was helpful to you. Thanks.